Hey everybody, just uh, sending out my weekly message, uh, you know, sort of overview of what we're all up to. So as you know, this is the second week of chapter one, which means it's the week that we do our group discussions and we'll turn in our essay and we'll do our our final quiz on MindTap. So this week is mostly you showing how much you've gotten out of last week. Uh... And let me just say really quickly, um, I want to remind everybody, when you have technical issues with MindTap, you need to get in touch with Cengage Technical Support. And when you have technical issues with Blackboard, you need to get in touch with TCC Technical Support. I cannot help you on the overwhelming majority of things that are technical issues, if it's an actual technical issue. Sometimes you can ask me something and it'll be like, oh, you do this thing or you do that thing, because it's basically, you know, maybe you just don't know how to get to the right place or something like that. But when it's an actual technical issue, something's not loading, something's not, you know, working the way that it's supposed to. If it's Cengage MindTap, get in touch with Cengage Technical Support. If it's Blackboard MindTap, if it's, excuse me, if it's Blackboard, get in touch with TCC Tech Support, okay? Because I don't have any way to fix technical issues. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and draw your attention over to the left-hand side of the screen in our menu. And you'll see that I've added a couple of areas here. If this is the first time you're really looking at the menu again. So besides announcement syllabus, open MindTap, which directly takes you to MindTap, to our course in MindTap. Uh, lessons, which if you open that up, um, it takes you to... Uh, you know how again you can reopen the MindTap course from here. Cengage technical support, there's your direct link. Cengage unlimited student dashboard, there you go. My uh, MindTap tips and troubleshooting, all that stuff's there in the very top, including recorded meetings and lectures. Okay, um, and then you can kind of go down and you can see where the assignments are at, and you should have already done these first assignments, the activator video for chapter one, the lecture video, the athlete assignment, all that stuff was due Sunday night. Uh, but now this week, you will finish the week out with the chapter one quiz, but between now and that uh, chapter one quiz on Sunday, um, if you look back over at the left hand side, you see that you have group discussions. And your first group discussion is due tonight. Looks like a few people have already begun to work on it. Okay. Your original post for the group discussion has to be up by tonight at 11.59 p.m. or you'll be docked for, for being late. Then to finish the assignment, you have to reply to someone by uh, Wednesday night at 11.59 p.m. So by Tuesday night at 11.59 p.m., your original post needs to be in the group discussion. And by tomorrow night, Wednesday night, September 9th, your uh, response to somebody in your group discussion, at least one person in your group discussion, needs to be posted. And then we'll start grading and interacting in the discussion groups ourselves uh, myself, um, Thursday, after all this stuff's gone up, okay? The first group discussion that we're going to do for Chapter 1 has to do with freedom and, uh, how philosophizing helps with liberation and freedom and about whether or not there are times when it's morally okay to break the law like Socrates uh, did when, uh, you know, or not like Socrates, you know, Socrates refused to break the law after he was committed to, to prison. But before that, you know, he had a couple of times skirted around fulfilling his civic duty or something like that. So are there times where it's morally okay to break the law? Are there times where, you know, if you have broken the law, you're, it's better for you to go through, the process and sort of become an example of, of how the state treats certain people. Uh, but anyway, again, I just want to reiterate, your original post is due 
by Tuesday tonight at 11.59 p.m., and you have to have a response up to at least one of your colleagues in your discussion group by tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Okay, and you can have points deducted for being late on either of those. All right. Uh, okay, so now then, besides the group discussions, if we go back over here, announcements, syllabus, open MindTap takes you directly to MindTap, lessons takes you to some direct links, important direct links, group discussions where we're at right now, the discussion board, uh, and then chapter essay. So this opened last Friday. There was announcements about these things. This opened last Friday. Uh, excuse me, last Saturday, and you have until this Saturday at 11.59 p.m. to write uh, two paragraphs or to write so many, you know, basically 300 words for part A, 300 words for part B. So you're basically looking at two paragraphs or two pages. Um, and I want you to uh, just follow these prompts. Be sure that you put in your word count at the end of each paragraph, as the instructions say here. And also be careful not to plagiarize. These things are going to go into the um, repository to check for plagiarism. And if you plagiarize, I'll give you a zero on the assignment. Uh, if you plagiarize accidentally... I mean, you know, if I can tell that you didn't really mean to plagiarize, I'll still probably give you a zero on the assignment, but I might let you redo it. But if there's just some willful plagiarism, and I'll be able to tell the willful plagiarism is going to be like 30, 50, 60 percent uh, similarity to somebody else's writing or something like that, I, that's definitely a zero and there's no appeal. Uh, I'm supposed to report you to the Dean of Students. I might, I might not. I might decide to give you another chance. I'm not sure. But the basic issue is if you just don't plagiarize, none of this is an issue. And plagiarism includes, uh, you know, paraphrasing something from an original source and acting like you're the one who thought of it. So the easiest thing in the world to do is if you know it's not an idea you came up with, but you're paraphrasing it, is just, you know, put, a, put an MLA reference citation in there so that we know where it was that you got the idea. Okay, I don't want to harp on this too much. I would hope by now y'all know better than to plagiarize, but, you know. So, when, so plagiarism happens when you don't properly reference a direct quote and you don't properly reference any paraphrasing or give people credit where credit's due for their, uh, for their original ideas. Okay, so your group discussion, let me reiterate this. Your group discussion, your original post is due tonight by 11.59 p.m. And your response to a colleague is due by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. And your chapter essay that is... Um, that came open last Saturday is due this Saturday by 11.59 p.m. And finally, uh, just to remind you about this, Sunday before 11.59 p.m., you need to do the chapter quiz. Okay? All right. That's really all I got. You know, I'll be in putting up a another lecture video, uh, I might be running a little bit late on that, but hopefully I'll have it up by tonight, and uh, if I don't have it up by tonight, I'll definitely be up by first thing tomorrow morning, but my goal is to always have the lectures up on Tuesdays by, you know, a certain time. Uh, okay, if y'all have any questions or any kind of issues that I can probably work with, I will be happy to help you out. If you get in touch with me because you're having a technical issue, please don't get insulted if I just send back an email that says, this is a technical issue and you're going to have to talk to whichever technical support team can help you with that issue. Okay. Uh, I'm not trying to dodge out of doing anything or helping y'all, but you know, my hands are kind of tied when it comes to the computer structure uh, versus, you know, creating the class. Okay. All right. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit later on. Hopefully some folks might have uh, want to get together and have a meeting Thursday 
Uh, I didn't have anything to record for y'all this last Thursday because nobody had really any kind of questions that were pertinent to the course. So I don't mind being there and just talking and chatting with y'all about stuff. That's actually one of the ways I like to get to know y'all. So, you know, but again, if you're not seeing the meetings being recorded, it's because the discussions are kind of philosophical, but they're not really pertinent to the course. Okay. Again, I'll have my lecture up by uh, have my lecture up by tonight or early tomorrow morning, uh, and I will talk to y'all a little bit later on. I hope everything's going well. Thank you. Bye bye.